Hey, did you know that when you use a table method in the electronic reporting model mapping like this, you are doing it wrong? Did you know that this is going to call the table method every time for every single field? Follow me, see this video where I explain how to use it properly um, and to improve the performance of the execution of your electronic reporting. Follow me. Let's see the example. We have this model uh, to export the sales lines. This is just a data model that I've just created, use of XPP methods in ER. So this model, we have some information about the header in the model, and we are going to use the sales table method. It's this method. We have the breakpoint and the, the debug attached. So we can see how many times uh, ER is going to call that method. If we go to map model to data source, let's create a new one from scratch. Sales line and yeah, let's let's do this quick. Uh, table records. We add the sales line. We are all experts about this uh, already, so I am not going to <laughs> to stop here. Um, if you have like doubts of what is all of this and so on, please go to the ER videos I have from scratch or the, the latest one, the last one about the exporting Excel and so on. So now the, the, the fields at line level, like item ID, for example, it's easy. Yes. <clears throat> we go to the item ID. Well, let's map first the sales lines with the sales line. Now, if we test it, let's execute it and see how many times the debugger stops the execution because uh, it's, it's using the sales table again and again. Let's see it. Okay, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So, yeah, as we as we suspected, and this is the final information. So, for this is the first, second, third, and another three. So, yeah. Solution, easy solution for this. We just instead of mapping directly with this sales table something, sales table something, we can either have the sales table fields inside that record and map the sales table with the rec with the um, record, or even easier, create here a calculated field that it's we can call it sales table. I'd like to put here like standard dash and for example the prefix and here we go to this sales line sales table method save and now okay and now instead of using the um, directly the method, we use the calculated field that it's fetched with the method. So the information is going to be exactly uh, the same. Instead of using this, we're going to use this. Um, like this. Save. We use this. Save. And this. Save. And now it will just call it twice. One per line. So, yeah, let's check it. Okay. First, second, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. So make sure you use calculated fields to for uh, 
examples like this when you're using a method and you don't want to you want it to be reused in many places then use a calculated field for it so that's it thank you for your attention i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did recording it and editing it see you later goodbye